Hi everyone, in this video I will explain you uh, how you can actually put uh, Matomo under uh, HTTPS. So uh, the typical use case is the following one is that uh, you install actually Matomo on your server as I'm doing here and that you are realizing that uh, you are not in HTTPS and as a consequence you will get of course uh, these orange messages coming on and on saying that actually you are and not using uh, Matomo with a huge level of security. Um, there are main issues here. Uh, the, the main one that I can identify is when you logged it in, uh, as the information are not, uh, let's say, um, um, how to say, are not sent in HTTPS. Uh, someone could actually intercept those data and then identify what is uh, your login and password. And as a result, it could access actually to your Matomo. So it could, of course, analyze the performances of your website, including potentially the return investment. And as well, if you are processing personal data, you may, of course, access to those uh, personal data. And then that's a risk for your user, which means that as you are responsible for that, uh, you may be responsible for a lot of things according to uh, the kind of website that you are managing. So that's the reason why you need to be uh, in HTTPS. And as well, the other um, things that I can um, identify is that if you use Matomo and that uh, your Matomo installed is an HTTP and that you are using it on an HTTP website such as uh, this one, for example, here that's the case of Timber, uh, you will see that actually you will get uh, error messages like this telling you that actually um, uh, they cannot find out actually the information uh, under HTTPS, which is true in my case, because my website is not in HTTPS. And as well, it may be problematic if you would like to use, uh, not this one, but uh, if you would like to use actually um, uh, some plugins such as the Matomo Browser Injector, and which as well uh, will require you, of course, uh, to be in HTTPS if you want to inject the tracking code within HTTPS website. Uh, so um, let's uh, let's move on. So actually, what is happening now is most of the web hosting provider are uh, providing actually um, solution for that. So that's the case here for one and one. But I succeed in doing it actually with uh, some other web hosting platforms, just as OVH. I mean, all the main hosting uh, provider right now are providing you SSL for free. Uh, so out of the option that they are offering you is the following one: is the possibility for you to manage. Uh, domain name and SSL, so that's what I'm doing right now. And here uh, it's written uh, SSL certificate. So if you click on it, you should land on a page uh, similar to this. For example, in the case of uh, of one and one, and then you click, you need to click on configure an SSL certificate. Uh, here you have some different actually uh, package which are offered. Uh, of course, um, let's say the best. Uh, option is providing you then uh, the more uh, you will have to pay. In my case, I'm not going to pay, so I'm just going to use, let's say, the basic uh, SSL certificate. So activate now. Uh, here I need to select uh, which domain name will be concerned. So in my case, that's going to be this one. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Use it with my server, or use it with my website. Uh, if I say use it with my server, use it with... I don't know what is the difference between the two. As I use it with my website, um, I'll use it with my server. So I'm just going to make use it with my website. And that's probably for the domain name in my case. And uh, let's say, uh, yeah, that's going to be as well for all. All the subdomain, I read the uh, condition of use, and then I can configure, actually, I hope, uh, the HTTPS part. So let's see if it's deploying in real time or if it's going to take a bit of time. So uh, so um, you proceeded successfully. Uh, your order has been uh, done successfully. When we will receive the SSL certificate, uh, we will set it up on your website. You can now uh, check it at any time within the SSL uh, part. So here it's telling me uh, it's it's in process. So what I will do uh, now, I, I can refresh this page, but if you cannot set it up in, in real time, what I will do is I will cut the video and I will paste it with uh, the other part of the video when 
Uh, the SSL is oh, okay, great. So I just refresh it, and your domain name is now secure, so it has been done pretty fast. Uh, what I could do now is uh, just refresh my page over here in order to see if the HTTPS have been configured straight away. Um, that's, as you can see, that's not the case. I'm just going to do like a CTR and F5 in order to see if it changed something. And then I'm going to force my HTTPS just by putting it like this. Let's see. Okay, great. So yeah, as you can see, uh, it works out. So now my website is in HTTPS, so it's uh, it's fine. You see the arranged message is not appearing anymore. Um, so that's, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, my main concern is, as you can see, that the redirect is not automatic. So I guess that if I remove this part, I can... Oh, great. I got the uh, redirection down. So seems like it's it's interesting so i'm just gonna disconnect myself and connect myself back and yeah so as you can see now everything is secure so that's that's great and what i can do now is probably i'm gonna refresh uh this page out but let's see first of all if uh, my tracking code changed because now as it's under uh, https probably my tracking code has been changed so let's go over here tracking code uh, javascript tracking code and here what do i have did it change something i can't see any https information over here so normally if i refresh this page as now uh, my website is in https uh, the data should be sent so if i look uh, right now at my my tracking code at my visitor log i should not see any information uh, coming in because it said that, yep, go over here. Okay, so there's no data. And now if I refresh the page, normally I should not see this error message anymore. Okay, sounds good. As you can see, uh, there's no error message. And if I look to network, and if I look at my step tutorial, matomo.js seems to have been loaded properly. Um, you can see that right? Google Analytics is installed on Tibor projects which belong to Mozilla. Uh, anyway, uh, so now if I go over here and that I refresh my page, should be fine now. Yeah, lovely, right? You see it works out. Uh, so that's it. Um, so of course, it may not be the tutorial of your uh, of your dream, let's say, because as you can see, it was just uh, the web hosting platform that I was using here, SS uh, 101, which made it really easy actually to set up uh, the HTTPS. But uh, I guess that in your case, your web hosting platform will be, uh, let's say, a bit more uh, difficult to make it set. But in my case, it went up pretty fast and I never did it before. Uh, I mean, not through the one and one And as you can see, just a couple of clicks, I got my HTTPS on, on Matto. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, uh, this video and hope that you will be able to do it on your own as well. Have a great day.